Hi guys, my name is Yemi Alade. For today, I want to share with you guys my go-to makeup for like any event, whether it's for stage performance or an appearance somewhere, no matter the weather, the humidity in the air. Now, before I even talk about makeup, I like to talk about skin, skin, skin. I'm sharing some secrets, guys. Get your notepads. <laughs> so these are the soaps I like to use. They were, they were made for me at home. For my face, I like to use this black soap. It's uh, it's made from charcoal and some other really nice things that are good for the face. I always feel good when I have my soap on my face. I feel like nature is doing something to me that I love. Oh, do you see how fresh I'm looking all of a sudden just like that? God bless you, charcoal soap. Moisturizing. My go-to for moisturizing my face, you won't believe it, coconut oil. Take it round and round. It's like a facelift, look, see. Keeping it all up, facelift. I just put very little around my nose, especially because it's an oily area. My T-zone is quite oily. Your eyelids, I do that as well because they deserve the love as well. I'm just using the tip of this to brush my eyebrows. So when it's time to draw them in place, it wouldn't be much of a hassle. I'm gonna use this crayon, it's by Maybelline, I'm a huge fan of this particular product. It's wax, to be precise. So I'm just gonna draw the outline and then I'm gonna fill it in. So, because I am a performing stage artist and I dance a lot, the most important thing is the primer because primer keeps everything in place. The better the quality of your primer, the higher your chances of having your makeup stay in one place, just as it were in the beginning. I don't know what I've done with this, but it's also made lean, but I can't see any of the details. I've cleaned it off. That's how much I use it. I use it almost every time. People sometimes use brushes and stuff to, you know, work this in, but I find that the tips of my fingers do a lot of good for me. Yeah, don't forget the nose. This is super stay full coverage, 24 hours. You know how I do, I like to spray, squeeze some of that good, good. Concealer. There is this and there is this. This is by Maybelline and this is by Fenty. I like to use the Maybelline one first. So I'm gonna just take some of this brush. The idea is to get it from underneath. So after using the concealer, I take the foundation and put on my brush again. So it's the same color on my skin and I run it over that so that you, it doesn't seem like, you know, my eyebrows are separate from my entire body. I have to blend it in. I'm gonna take this and just push it in, kind of like setting it again. This is a face definer, highlight, contour, and bronzer. It's by Zaron. Zaron is also a brand made in Nigeria. You see the smile on my face, I'm super proud because, I'm not just proud because it's made in Nigeria, I'm proud because the quality is up there. Look at that. So I like to set my, my eyebrows. Now setting it is just like, you know, imagine you're building a house. All the things you need to build a house, you need to make sure that everything is firm and right. So the powder just helps to reduce the level of oxidation, that is exposure to oxygen and, cause the oxygen sort of like ruins everything <laughs> when it comes to makeup. Eyebrows and eyelids, I do the same thing. With the highlighter a little more concealer on my eyelid i'm gonna smooth it out there i use mac powder the main thing that pushed me to learn how to make myself up is because when i travel around the world i find that nigeria is very ahead in terms of makeup skills and some people might want to make me up and end up making me up to look like a grandmother or something but the nigerian makeup artists know exactly what they're doing you know, makeup has really come a long way in Nigeria. Well, I find that in Nigeria, people are 50-50 just like everywhere in the world. Some people like a lot of makeup. They like, they like you to see their face before you see the rest of their body. While some people like me, I like to highlight the details like my eyes and my lips. Those are the most important things to me in my face and some shimmer because I want the camera to hit my face and the light to just, you know, react with the shine and all of that. So with this brush, I'm going to go into my crease. 
So blending has a very light touch to it. That's the, you just lightly go over the same spot over and over and over again to get like a smooth feel to it. Some kind of definition between your eyebrows and your eyelid. Okay, back to the panty, the panty, the panty concealer. Each time I have a new makeup artist making me up, I always tell them, Please don't forget though, I don't like too much makeup oh, I don't like too much makeup, please. I ring it like a broken record and make sure that they hear my song. And that is the, I don't like too much makeup oh, please oh, I. I like this brush because you know, it just, it swips right there on my face the way I want it to. The thing with brushes is that when you've already applied makeup, it's good to dab, 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 swipe. Because when you swipe, you're moving the primer that you've, you've applied, you're moving the foundation you've applied, you're moving every product you've applied initially. So it's like you're blending and applying at the same time. You must use your sponge. This is the magic of makeup. I know a lot of people use like setting powder to set their concealer and stuff, but I'm a fan of just using my powder. So I do this and I apply it lightly. This is also a setting process for me. I like dramatic lashes, especially when I'm going nude with my eyes, my eyelids, rather. Before I draw my eyeliner with this, I would like to apply some glue on this while it gets dried a bit. Eyeliner by Maybelline. I am all about precision, so I'm gonna just go. You just have to hold up this tip and make sure you don't. Put on finishing touches here and there. All right, now that my lashes are on, I just need to, because I have some foundation on my, my natural eyelashes, I need to get rid of that. I use my powder to set my concealer and stuff, so now I'm going to blend that in and brush off. When I started music professionally, I wasn't sure where it was going to lead to. I was just going with the wind, going with the tides. I really love music as a hobby and everything else that added onto it was just like a huge plus for me. You should see my makeup in those days. I'm not sure what I was thinking. It was like my own personal hurricane was always hitting my face. <laughs> Sometimes I would end up with like the wrong color of, you know, eyebrow pencil. So instead of like dark brown, when the camera would take a picture of me, it would end up looking like it was burgundy or red. How weird is that? <laughs> you know, music has always been my passion and looking good comes with it. But my most popular song, which is about over 100 million views now, the video for Johnny, when he became, when he started to gain steam, my life pretty much changed and I realized that this race I was running wasn't just for me anymore and my family. It was to represent the entire Nigeria and Africa and my dream got bigger and bigger. Now I feel responsible for a lot of people. And right now I feel like this makeup and the tricks I'm teaching you, I'm responsible for your next look. So I have to come correct. So this brush that I love so much is also from Tolani. I'm just gonna blend it in. Oh, you see, you see, you see the blend, don't you? You see, cause I see it, I see it. There's one trick that I find very handy and I'll never stop doing. And that is the application of some brown powder underneath the eyelid. I use a nice brush with a nice tip there so it gets into the corners that I want it to. So I'm just going to apply it like, I, like I'm applying a bottom eyeliner. And to be sincere, if you look at your skin, without any makeup, you find that right there underneath the eyelid itself, it's a bit brown, like it's a bit darker than the actual eye patch here. So why not just continue, like I said, what God has started in your life. Uh -huh. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna apply my actual powder. Contouring is also very, 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 very important. So I'm going to use this brush it right there. Now this is so my cheekbones pop and then when I smile you can see I want to give the side view like ooh angled. I have a significantly nicely rounded broad forehead and because I don't want the camera heating it and making it look like it's a plateau I would normally put some brown contour around those areas so I do the work of the camera for the camera. 
so thank you in advance you're welcome and then my beautiful nose needs to be a bit more pronounced in certain areas so i'm just going to glorify the bridge of my nose and i'm going to blend so that's the angle that's the line we're following I certainly love the way Beyonce applies her makeup um, for stage. I, I really want to know her tricks. Like I would give anything to just be schooled by this woman for like 10 minutes. Tell me what I need to know. How do you stay flawless? I know number one, she always has a fan on stage or several fans on stage blowing in her face, keeping her aerated and in a nice environment while she's heating up the stage you know rihanna on the, on the other hand has a lovely face has great features and i love that as well that's my i'm just making that up okay so i'm going to just line my inner eye just a bit because i wanted to pop do you see that space in between the bottom line and the up line top line i'm going to fill that up so instead of going for the typical red, which we have in my nails right here, the tomato red, I'd like to go for a shade of red that I just discovered. This is by, oh, Revolution Pro. It's called Vamped. I'm about to vamp this face, watch out. So my friend told me one time that when I'm applying my lipstick, it's always good to go with the X marks the spot, you know, technique. So here it goes. Oh, do I look? smoking hot or ah I'm hyping myself I can't shout because I really tried ah okay now the finishing touch the one thing I always cannot wait for when I'm getting made up or when I'm making myself up is this bad boy wear boosting setting spray and it locks in all my makeup and I'm going to spray myself when I spray myself I make sure I don't like go like because when you do that and the moisture hits it, it leaves marks behind. So your face must be a still. Let that all sink in. Two different people introduced me to two different edge control products. One is Moray's Edge Wax, and the other one is just pretty much make your hair shine. This one is from Nigeria, this one is from London, and either one works. I'm going to use the one from Nigeria. A lot of people like to apply this and just put so much and make it wavy. No, just keep it as simple as I can. So tell me what you think about this makeup because I think I did a very good job and I'm gonna have a great night out. Watch my diary as I exit the building. Au revoir. Pas de Au revoir, merci beaucoup. Je suis à la Au revoir.